Hey there, good morning. Well, it's getting pretty close to Christmas, and if you're like me, you're still trying to uh, be as productive as possible for this last few days before we're able to take just a few days off for the holidays. So I thought I would take this morning and walk you through a bit of a routine that I've been using in order to manage my day and manage my tasks that I need to get done throughout the day. So this involves using my Outlook calendar and a specific view of that calendar that I like to print out and use throughout the day, as well as a filter within TickTick that I use to manage which tasks I want to focus on for the day. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I open up Outlook and I navigate to the calendar and I use the web version of Outlook. So I seem to like that just a little bit better than the standard app that is on, you know, Windows or Mac. Instead, I just use the web app. Um, so if you happen to use the desktop version, yours might look just a little bit different than mine. So I'm on a two day view. So you can see up at the top on the navigation panel they have up here. There are different views, so there's work week, week, month, but I tend to like the day view, and specifically, I like the two days view. So this gives me visibility to today as well as tomorrow. And so what I do is I just take this view and I click the print option. And if you look at this, uh, this takes up a lot of room, and really the information is pretty it's pretty minimal on here. It's just the big blocks of time that are taking up a lot of room. So what I do is I come down here and I check this leave room for notes. And what this does is condenses your events over to the left side. So they're not taking up as much uh, real estate on the piece of paper. And this allows you a large blank space over here on the right side uh, where you can put any notes that you want. And so I'll tell you in just a bit how I use that notes section. Uh, before I print this, I also extend this time frame up to about 8 p.m. or so, depending on what I'm doing that day. Now, in general, I don't work up to 8 p.m., but I might write in some personal things because I keep my personal calendar on Google and my work calendar here on Outlook, and I know there's ways to integrate them, and I know that TickTick -Tick has a calendar, um, but I like to keep all my calendars separate. It's just easier for me to maintain it that way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and come down here and click the print button and I'm going to send this to my printer. Okay, so I did have to redact a few things because I obviously don't want to share all our client information and our company information that shouldn't be shared. So that's why you'll see some black boxes on this piece of paper. Uh, but again, basically, this is just uh, my calendar for today and tomorrow. I have it right here at a glance. Um, you know, obviously, I want to see today because I need to know what's coming up today, where I need to be at and when. And also so that I can see what spots I have open that I might be able to fit some focus time in. Uh, but I also like to see tomorrow because as things come up throughout the day, there are certain times where I may need to reference tomorrow. Uh, for example, if someone's trying to schedule a meeting for tomorrow, I can quickly see at a glance with this piece of paper on my desk, hey, these are the time slots I have available tomorrow. Um, so the other thing I mentioned is that I might write in some personal things. So I know after work today, I'm going to take the kids Christmas shopping. So I'm just going to write that in. And I know tomorrow evening we're going to go watch uh, Aquaman 2 at the theater. So I'm going to write that in just in case something else comes up. I can quickly see that, yeah, I'm booked both today and tomorrow evening. Okay, so the notes section. I actually split this up into two different sections. So I write... So at the top, I put a tasks section, and then a little ways down, I put a notes section. Now for the tasks section, I only put on here two or three tasks that I really want to focus on throughout the day. And so part of this is looking at my calendar. 
Now today it looks like I have some big time chunks here early in the morning uh, before 9.30 and then also later in the afternoon between 2 and 3.30. So while I'm going through my tasks, I think about what can I actually get done today in those time slots. So let me open up TickTick. Tick. And I have a couple filters that I've been using lately. Uh, but for this, I'm going to use my next actions filter, which is basically anything that has a due date of today or is overdue. So down here, you'll see some overdue tasks. I need to go check my furnace filter. Uh, that one's long overdue. And I also need to clean my fish tank, which is also long overdue. Uh, but put the trash cans out, I actually did that. So that one is done. Uh, but other than looking at due date, this filter also looks at priority. Uh, so anything that is a red or high priority is also on this list. So from this list, I will just jot down one to three tasks that I actually think I will be able to complete today with all the other meetings and things going on. Uh, the other section I have is the notes section, and this is just for any notes that come up throughout the day. So for example, if I'm in a meeting and someone says, hey Josh, can you follow up on this? You know, I'm just gonna quickly write down, you know, meeting number one, follow up on task. Uh, so that's one way that I use it. If I get information that may not be actionable, I'll also write that down. And if I just need a scratch piece of paper, maybe to do a calculation. So yesterday I needed to do a quick calculation. I just grab my piece of paper here. I can use this as scratch paper and I do my calculation. Now, if I happen to run out of room on my notes section, uh, I have the whole back sheet of the paper, which is totally blank. And so this is pretty much all the room I need for a day's worth of notes. I've never needed more room than what's available here on this front side, plus what's available on this blank back side. Now, once I'm all done, so at the end of today, I'll take this piece of paper and I'll transfer anything that needs to be transferred into TickTick. -tick. So for example, I may need to transfer this task into TickTick, -tick, or I may need to transfer this information into a note within TickTick, -tick, things like that. And then once that part is done, and I've gotten everything into TickTick -tick that I think needs to be there, I will take this and I will file it into this file folder where I keep all my other days. And the reason why I keep them is because maybe I need to reference something that happened last week. Maybe I know something happened last Wednesday. Uh, I can quickly flip back to last Wednesday and grab the information that's needed. Or maybe perhaps I missed uh, recording something in TickTick, -tick, a task or a note or something like that. I still have the hard copy here and I can reference that. So that is my morning routine on how I prepare for my day uh, using both my calendar, my Outlook calendar, as well as a TickTick -tick filter in order to make sure that I'm getting things done, getting what needs to be done, and I'm also where I need to be when I need to be there. But let me know in the comments what you do for your morning routine. How do you make sure that you're where you need to be when you're supposed to be there, as well as getting the tasks done that you need to get done? Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.